Well, hello and welcome to this very special edition of our Urban Abbey Dust and Glory Lent series. Because it's Easter Sunday, the day has arrived, we've made it to Easter and whether you've been journeying through every day and you're here now or whether you've just tuned into this specific one, that's not a problem because this is probably the best day to tune into it. It's Easter Sunday. It is the celebration of the resurrection, of this good news of life over death, of hope and joy and peace and all of the promises that come with this amazing day. So you are so welcome here. My name is Gary, I'm part of the community at Urban Abbey. And if you have been journeying through, this will be very familiar to you, that we're gonna take a moment to be still and to pray and to rejoice this morning, to give thanks for the goodness of this day. So I invite you to pray with me now. God, we thank you for this day, for this Easter morning. We thank you for the amazing truths that it represents, that this miracle shows a life over death and hope over fear, justice over injustice, restoration and redemption. And for each one of us today, as we share in this day, whether we're uh, with other people today or whether we're on our own, wherever we might be, May we be filled afresh with that good news, with that love and celebration that comes from this incredible day. May it spill over into the lives of those around us, into our moving being and our daily lives. May we know deep down the goodness of you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. So on this day, it's very exciting to be sharing the passage and reflection and we'll try and do a bit of a reflection that rounds up the, the whole journey really through Lent. But the passage to read is Matthew 28 verse 1 to 10 and there's just a very small excerpt which is given which I think is such a good one uh, and it just says he is not here for he has risen just as he said he would. And I love this passage because there's something really great about that final part of Jesus foretelling this, Jesus saying this is going to happen. And I don't know about you, but I'm frequently experiencing those, um, you know, those sort of I told you so moments from people. Like that's just very often happens. Um, maybe it's because I'm just flying through life and not kind of paying attention to things. And when someone shares some good advice, I've missed it. And I was even chatting to a friend yesterday who had been away on a holiday for some of Easter and um, they'd finally gone to this place their mum had recommended they go on holiday for years and years, like quite local to them. And um, they went and they loved it and had an amazing time. And so he texted his mum while he was away and said, look, we're having a lovely time, a really beautiful place. And just the single response he got back was, I told you so. <laughs> and so often that's done in jest or done as a tease. But this moment in this verse, in this passage of scripture is not a tease, it's the truth. It's this beautiful truth that what Jesus said and the way he saw what was happening, even though it was different to everyone around and all the signs and the evidence and the death and, and just the, what seemed so glaringly obvious for this defeat was actually a victory and was an amazing moment of transformation. And what I love about this moment and even just that simple passage is because that reflects our whole journey together through this idea of failure and the, the themes and the ideas we've shared. Because it's so often it's just been about understanding that there is a different perspective, a kingdom perspective, Jesus's perspective over our lives, over your life. And so, so often the lies or the perceptions which we could pick up from our society or the way things are can seem to darken or to, to say that this is a defeat or this is a failure or this is a mistake when actually Jesus sees it so differently and just as he said it would be he was risen and so I love that we can carry that truth into our day and into this celebration when we reflect on all the themes of failure we've looked at and secondly as well, there's something which happens a lot in church traditions um, around Easter Sunday is that people will go around um, or maybe from the front and say, he is risen. And then people reply, he is risen indeed. And although it's a very simple thing, I think with this theme in mind, there's a really beautiful image there of community reminding and supporting one another of these truths. 
And I think that's what it's all about. Even this digital community that we've shared together through Lent, it's just an opportunity for us to remind one another of the true perspective on things, on the true way things are, and the freedom and the life and love that brings. From the cross, we've moved from a place of shadow and we've moved into that garden of a place of light and life. And so this is the amazing truth we get to celebrate. A God who never fails is the God who holds us and carries us and leads us and sees us in a way that sometimes we miss or forget. Just as he said he would. I hope this has been a helpful journey for you. Um, there's opportunity now from the booklet which says think back over your journey through this Lent and the work you've done on how we live with failure and sin. It says, what has been the most important insight for you? And how can you take this forward into Easter and beyond? So I'll give you a moment now just to maybe pause the video and to reflect on those words. I'll read it one more time. Think back over your journey through this Lent and the work you've done on how we live with failure and sin. What has been the most important insight for you? And how can you take this forward into Easter and beyond? If you've had a chance to reflect and there's a closing prayer which wraps up hopefully all of our time together it says lord who is with us every step of the journey in our despairs and our delights in our failures and our successes may each moment of our lives be to your glory and in the name of your son who died so that failure would never be the end amen